Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum with these stories from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Well, it did rain on somebody's parade Monday, a little. The weather may have affected the turnout, but the thousands who did show up for the Martin Luther King Jr. Day Parade in downtown Las Vegas were not disappointed. More photos and more on the parade in Tuesday's print and online editions of the Review Journal and your four-day weather forecast coming right up. Tuesday marks a week since the devastating earthquake in Haiti. And the Southern Nevada Haitian community continues doing what it can to help the folks back home. The RJ's Christy Jordan reports Tuesday on Monday's 12-hour donation drive at a Las Vegas church. Well, it's a classic case of win-win-win at the Clark County School District's new Sunrise Mountain High School. Education writer Jim Haug has the story of how an art teacher's dissatisfaction with litter on campus has turned into a recycling program and a learning opportunity. The Las Vegas City Council is looking into the idea of sharing in the salary cuts proposed for city employees. The RJ's Alan Choate reports Tuesday that if it goes through, it may not be an easy process because apparently not all council people are paid the same. Look for details in print and online. Planning ahead for your Wednesday morning? Join me when my RJ headliner guest will be... Entertainment writer Mike Weatherford will be spending the better part of the 8 a.m. hour with Morning Source host Alan Stock on KXNT Radio. You know Mike's got the inside scoop on, not only on strip headliners but lots more and he'll be taking your calls. It's Wednesday between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. on the a.m. side of your radio dial, AM 840 KXNT. A kitty cat hotel for putty tats who have seen better days. Well, Review Journal Vegas Land columnist Doug Elfman wrote Monday about the Bonanza Cat Hospital. You never know what Doug's got going on, but we've got the advantage of having him right here in the studio. So, what's up for Tuesday's column, Doug? Have you ever gone out with a woman in her 40s who has her own money? She's divorced, possibly perimenopausal. Well, those women are sometimes called cougars, and the cougar convention is coming to town this weekend. So, in my column in Tuesday's Review Journal, I will take a look at the cougar convention coming to town, the cubs, the young men they're looking for, and uh, I talked to Miss Cougar USA, if you can believe it, uh, making her case for younger men. Check that out in Tuesday's Review Journal. All righty. Thank you, sir. All things Elfman, blogs, photos, videos, easy. LVRJ.com slash Elfman. And now your weather. Clouds pretty much all week long. Maybe a sunshine break or two in there, but mostly it's going to be varying chances for rain. And not a whole lot of temperature change. The highs will generally be in the 50s and lows somewhere in the 40s. Oh, there may be some gusty winds come Thursday as what the National Weather Service is expecting as the most powerful storm of the week may come literally blowing in and out of southern Nevada. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot. ReviewJournal.com. <laughs>